Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and Vermont Tourism. My name is Ava Solberger, and we are here in Bethel, Vermont for Bethel Better Block. This whole weekend, downtown Bethel is coming alive. The goal is to revitalize the downtown and make these changes permanent. It really changes the, the idea of how do you remake a city. Instead of pointing the finger and saying, hey government, come fix this, or wow, we need all this money. It's really like, oh, we can do it ourselves. We don't have to wait for five or 10 years to do it. We can do it right now. Does the downtown always look like this? Nope, not at all. It used to not have the walking path, but now I guess it does. That's pretty nice. No. it's. Just a, like a special weekend. We have never had this many people. I bet we have Some a lot. Some of these people are like from Rochester, Stockbridge, Royalton. Over a week here, we've transformed the street and some of the private spaces to be more hospitable. So if you were here last weekend, you wouldn't be able to have this conversation. The street is so loud because of trucks, so we calmed it down. This weekend is about building a better block here at Bethel. So thinking about building a more vibrant, inclusive, walkable, livable community. So taking one block of the downtown and reimagining it. These vacant shops were here for about 20 years, and the community went in there and cleaned it out. And so we've got vacant storefronts here that are filled with pop-up shops. We've got street improvements that look at improving pedestrian and bike safety and transit opportunities. And we've got parklets and we've got a beer garden down there. Make the downtown just look nicer so more tourists will come because really our town is really just great. Like all vendors here are neat, like, like local places. It's really cool. And so when you combine those two things together, a great public space with retail storefronts that show off the local talents, you get this active place. And that's what we're looking for. Bethel was an old mill town. There's a generation of, of old Vermont residents who they'll reminisce about the good old days of Bethel. Cities in the, in the Northeast that were once industrial and, and manufacturing based, they've got to find a new way to reinvent themselves. When you look around the state, there's amazing downtowns that have been somewhat hollowed out when the manufacturing has disappeared over the last 30 years. Across the country, rural areas are really drying up and we're lucky here that we have such community spirit to really fight back and say, no, we're gonna make this happen. It might be small, but a lot of people here very nice. We're like a big family here. Do you know your neighbors? Oh, sure. And I find Bethel as this nice place. It's not like a big city where it's hard to relax. I lived in uh, Manhattan once a long time ago, and I didn't even know the people that lived on the other side of the wall from me. All the people are really kind. Our school is pretty darn awesome. All kinds of people. <laughs> some people who commute to other places, and some people who live right here and work. And we have two restaurants a new antique shop. You can walk to the grocery store. It's a very pleasant town to live in. Nice library, good schools, and a number of churches. A lot of history here, and history is community. Five years ago, Bethel was hit hard by Tropical Storm Irene. My grandmother, her house was right there, and it got taken out by Irene. In our basement, it got covered with mud, and a lot of people came together. People taking out each other's houses. A lot of town people helped out. We had like this huge line of people carrying buckets outside of our house. It was very amazing. They rebuilt a bridge. It seems like we've recovered very well. The community really came together afterwards and was much stronger. And so in a way, it was the impetus to now everything that you see going on. Team Better Block is a urban planning firm out of Dallas, Texas. We've helped over 200 communities now. Did a partnership with AARP, 
looking for communities that wanted to do a revitalization project such as this, and Bethel won. They actually put in the, the best proposal. We've been working with Bethel Revitalization Initiative, also known as BRI. BRI was formed with the idea of trying to stimulate creative solutions to the problems that our town has. The goal yeah. is ultimately not to make this just a weekend. Absolutely. We really want to make this a permanent component of Bethel. So it's a great chance for people to experience real change in real time and tell us what elements work well, what don't, and how we can make some of these pieces more long term. What we're hoping is is that, that this plants seeds in people's minds of that, oh, it would be great to have a made in Bethel shop. It would be wonderful to have a taco restaurant in town. We have a special sauce that we put on the mushrooms. We are not telling you the ingredients. I've seen after the Better Blog, a lot of communities within the next two years rapidly change. The people begin to reinvest in the area. That would be amazing if everything was permanent here. Get more popular and just get a little more well known. Bethel's a great place and everyone should get a chance to visit it. We're here at Illuminations of Vermont and I'm getting some early Christmas presents. We will get stuck in Vermont too again real soon. Go visit Bethel! And follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, yeah. Instagram, and sign up for our weekly email alerts. Miss Pumpkinhead, tell me about Bethel. I think it's a great town and I have a bug in my hair. Yes, you have many bugs in your hair. Did you bake any goods for this weekend? Oh, I love cheesecake! I can't wait to try some! It's my first time in Bethel, but it's nice that I can sit down in these beautiful hand-painted seats, enjoy the sights, and hopefully get a really good cup of coffee. How's your coffee, Bethel? I'm gonna find out.